you can create this mobile game in 5 minutes. If you don't believe me, keep watching this video and I will show you exactly how to do it and how easy it is. I am The Withers, the creator of RPG Playground, which is the easiest way to make your own role-playing games. You don't have to download or install anything, you just go to the website rpgplayground.com and you start creating. Now, a new game starts with an empty level. On the left here, you have three tabs. The first tab is the scenery. The second tab are the actors or anything that you can interact with. And the third tab are the levels. So let's start and create our first scene. We're gonna make a farmer's house first. So let's add a house here. Let's make it this big. All right. Let's build a little road in front of it. And then we can start decorating. Let's add a few bushes here, like a little trunk. You can just add scenery and, and start to make it look nice. I can add a scarecrow here. Let's go back to the this one. It's a farmer. And let's just keep decorating so that it looks nice. Uh, we can add some veggies here on the fields. And then turn it into a real farmer's house. All right. Then let's go to the house itself. We can add a chimney on top. Let's also add a window here. Maybe have some flowers beneath the window. All right. And then I know some nice big trees here. And we can add those too. Uh, where do we place it? Here, all right. And then some of the mushrooms to give it a bit of a color. All right, so this is our first level. Let's add a few actors here. So we're gonna add a farmer here but we also need to add a door. A door is something you interact with, so it's in the actress. All right, now we can bring our level more alive by adding a few of the animals. Some butterflies, let's have a dog walking around here and a cat. All right, that looks nice. Let's just test it out. All right, cool. Now, let's just make the Second level, let's go here, add a new level in the house. We pick a medium one and here we do the same thing. So we are going to add the interior. Let's start off with the back wall. We can add a few windows here. All right, table, can add a few bottles on the table. And this one is also a nice one to add. And there is some other indoor stuff like this one, some kind of kitchen. can also add a sofa here. Uh, 
and this is some of those. All right, looks nice. Let's add some actors. Uh, first monster, and then a little demon. And let's also add a little child here. And then of course the door, we need to add a door here. This one makes it obvious where the door is. All right. Now, let's configure the actors. First, the door. This one needs to go to the first level, to the door in that level. All right. And let's jump to the first level. We do the same thing with this door. This one needs to go to the house level, to the door in the house level. And then we're going to add some actions to this actor. So when the hero touches this actor, we're going to remove anything that's there yet. And we're going to insert an action here. Who needs to do something? The farmer. What does he need to do? He has to say something. What does he say? Please help me. There are monsters in my house. All right. Next. Next thing he does is he moves aside because right now he's right in front of the door. So the farmer needs to walk towards here. All right. Cool. Let's test that out. We close it. We test our game. Please help me. There are monsters in my house. All right. He moves aside. We go in the house. All right. Now we're here. Now we're going to do some actions for the kids. So when we move up to the kid, the kid is going to say thanks for saving me. All right. That's the action for the kid. Let's test our game. Press here, restart the game. All right, we move up to the farmer. Please help me. There are monsters in my house. We enter the house. Start fighting with the monsters. All right, and then we talk to the kid. Thanks for saving me. So that's basically how easy it is to make your first game. All you have to do now is save your game. And while you do that, you can publish your game. And that means that everyone can play your game. This means if they have a web browser on their desktop computer or on the, their mobile device like an iPhone or like a tablet or even a Chromebook, then they can just start playing your game. It's, it's, that, it's really that easy. If you like this video, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any new things. And of course, it would be really helpful if you give me a thumbs up. I put a link in the description below to rpgplayground.com so you can click that and start creating your own RPG. All right, have fun. Bye.